Hi, my name is Owen. I'm standing next to Jablani and behind me, the Lundi. So we're going to explain to you about uh, the elephant trunk and then the use of it. And then uh, we're going to show you also uh, some of the features that elephants use on the trunk. So this is the elephant trunk. And then um, the elephant trunk mostly is they're using for, for grabbing um, the, the food if they are feeding. And also the trunk, they use it also for sucking the water. The, like a straw if you are drinking uh, water or cold drink you can use a straw but uh, so and the trunk itself at the end of at the end of the trunk i'm gonna ask javelin to give me the trunk take it away if you look at the trunk at the end of the trunk here they got uh, two tulip there's a top one and then the bottom one so it's so easy to pick up a small object like this you can see javelin is going to to pick up uh to grab it amarura so easy just like that so these two julep it help when uh for them to pick up something in the ground and also if they like uh, they step on the on the thorn if they can able to pull out that thorn they can uh, they can do so because of those sort of, sort of like finger so the trunk also is uh is a nose they breathe through the trunk they got uh, some some holes there that go straight up to the nostrils and then uh, also the trunk if you look on the sides of the trunk uh uh, this side of the trunk there's some there's some muscles that they develop like here you can see this side um let me get uh, some arras so that i can show you nicely uh, there we go um so i want to show you um that this side you see there's a uh, green stuff here these are the leaves grass so this is the side that they, they, they use it if they are grabbing the branches so some elephants they both they can use both sides and then some elephants they are only one side that can use like left-handed or right-handed just same like people where some people they are left-handed some they are they are right-handed so um elephant they got about three major muscles on the trunk that are very strong if they can lift uh, something like yeah, 250 or 300 kilograms i'm not so sure about in, in in pounds maybe you can work out on that so it's very very strong and then also um this trunk elephant they use um, also for defending themselves if they're, they're fighting they can defend themselves to avoid uh, the, the 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 opponent to 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 to, to hit him with the, with the tax so they can block with the trunk you can see mostly the bulls they got a lot of scars here on the, on the trunk so they try to defend themselves they're using the trunk because they got the very huge muscles there in the front that uh, they can uh, also avoid from fighting and then uh, if they are drinking the water they can drink the water in a certain level and then uh, they cannot breathe at the same time they can hold the breath and then they quickly bend the, the, the trunk and then pour that water into the mouth and then uh, Talking for a free grown up elephant, um, the trunk they can suck almost about uh, 20 to 25 liters at one go and then pour to the mouth. So it is quite very, um, very strange how uh, it's, uh, it's work. And then uh, if you see Jablan here in the ground, so there's some Amaruras that we, we dropped there in the ground. So it's spreading them and then picking them. Yes, elephant they got a very, very, very good sense of smell. So the trunk also they is this they, they smell through the trunk so they can smell lift up their trunk in the in the in the air to smell any direction that they are they are, they are finding that smell so this is the uh the, the use of the trunk on the elephant you can see it looks like they can stretch uh in a in a position where if they want to reach like a branch or they want to reach something in a distance the trunk is like more they can stretch but not in a, in a very long distance just to show up that they can uh, stretch up a, a little bit of it so um so this is the this is uh the work and then this is uh, how elephants uh, use their trunk this is very 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 important for an elephant to have uh, the trunk because um you can find some of the elephants that uh, there's a, uh, a possibility for that elephant to lose the trunk through from the snare or from the uh, the crocodile if the crocodile chop the trunk of elephant like this piece and lose that portion and then only left this portion so it takes almost about 14 days for that elephant to adapt to use that piece of trunk that is left so for drinking water 
that elephant mostly they need to go in a in a, in a, uh, in a deep dam so they can walk inside the dam compared to other they can stand in the edge you can look also um jablani is smelling uh mambo uh and on, on the they got some can come closer they got uh give me when i show you something why jablan was uh was doing that on on mambo trunk of mambo come, come to the side see those are the molars and then here there's a little two holes here you can come this side this side There's two, two big bulbs, uh, uh, walls here. So this is where uh, Jabal was putting, <laughs> was putting the trunk to smell it, the friends, um, how he's feeling. And then also uh, it tells um, the behavior, how is he thinking about yeah, saying greetings and stuff like that. You can call them uh, Jacobson organs. That's um, um, the, the name of it. So yeah, this is the, the use of the trunk on Mambo. Is a, is, a, is a left hand, I mean it's the right hand, you can see on the side. And then this side there's a less uh, muscles, but this side there's more muscle developed because it's always exercised the grip of uh, the food. And then the green stuff again being seen from the side. So we are talking about an elephant losing the trunk. I said, I said she take about 14 days for that elephant to adapt. Drinking water becomes so difficult, but they have to go to the deep dam so that you can reach to drink water with the mouth. Yeah, so yeah, this is uh, our elephant, um, they use um, their trunk. So it is quite very, very, very important for, for an elephant to have uh, the trunk. So um, we heard the sound, you heard the sound. So this sound is a communication. They've been talking, there's the friend that came behind, his name is Somapani. So it's a greetings, it's a welcoming, it's a talking of the friend that is joining them. For, one, for, for any, um, uh, uh, any activity that an elephant mostly, they are around you know, one of the friends is joining them, they make those kind of sounds. Rumbling is the sound how they, they communicate to each other. We hear that sound. It's a very nice, friendly sound that we can tell. It's quite different from some other sound that they can make. We call the trumpet, which is a very scary one, and then very loud. That's going a, a quite long distance you can hear that but this one was just uh, a talking of rumbling talking each other you can hear that from Tokwe also is making another sound this is a uh, coming to say hi to the friends our elephant always come to group up together especially if you visit them in the bush they always think that all oh, feeding time we are just eating so they're just coming to check other the friends they are eating so this is this is our elephant. They get uh, um, uh, so friendly to each other and friendly to the people. Wherever we come, and then we call one elephant, and then others they'll be behind following. They know that uh, this is the eating time. Okay.